questions? I got a question. You got any excuses tonight, Roy? Let's not ask questions like that. Let's test gloves and go to work. Tonight, Roy. Let's go to work. In the corner of Shane Cameron. We are ready for round number four for the WBO Asia Pacific WBO Oriental title. The champion, Monty Barrett. Shane Cameron in the corner. He was gone from the moment it hit, and it was a matter of which right hand hit first. Oh, he's gone. So, the big hitter has been hit in the sixth round, and the way he backed off from that punch... And here's the end of the fight now, Jim. Well, Ben come back with the usual uh, lethal punches, but they weren't getting through. Once again, once again, Watson is covering up, not giving him the shot. But it just seemed like a little jab come over, but it caught him obviously bang on target. But Watson all the way through was very tight, taking no chances, and then just waiting for the openings. But this time, Ben had dropped to pace a little bit with a little straight jab. Now, there it was. That was only a jab, but Ben was moving into the punch, and uh, no way was he going to beat that count. He got he's, he's out on his feet, it looks like, Steve. Out on his feet. He barely lifted his legs when the referee asked him, if you got to stop it, there's the left. And that's enough. He hit him on the way down there. An unbelievable, stunning turn of events. Reversal of fortune by Evo Elder. Didn't matter. Those fights were so, those punches were so flush. Here's the end of the fight. One right, another one that was probably unnecessary if not illegal, doesn't matter, the fighter wasn't fully down, and the referee stops the fight. Roberto is really putting on the gas, he's really stepping on the gas, he wants to finish this off, he wants to go home. Wheatley's not having any of it, he's still coming back. Okay, bring it up, bring it up. The reason I see that up is I'm still getting caught, I'm still getting caught. Oh, good right hand, and a great combination, Wheatley is gone! How about baby? And this is a prime Duran, Marv. This is the Duran of the lightweights. These combinations that come like a summer storm just keep hitting. Left hook, right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook, and down he goes. Not many people could take that barrage, Marv. Es kommt wie es kommen musste. Mit einem krachenden linken Aufwärtshaken zum Kind des Herausforderers schickt der Weltmeister seinen Gegner zu Boden. Mit diesem spektakulären K.O. Sieg gewachsen sind. The winner by knockout victory, still the undefeated IBF Middleweight Champion of the World, King Arthur! Oh, yeah. Low blow by Gotti. Estevez says keep him up. Right hand lands over the top. Oh, Down that goes good. Willis. I don't think he'll make it back. Too well, he big right hand. Look at the end of the fight and watch the right hand shots by left, Gotti. Left hook, I think, is what ended it. Right yep, there. You're right. Right there, and that was all she wrote. Yep, so the two right hands, one big, one little, setting up the monster left hook. There's the left hook, and over it is. I think the body shots are really what weakened Gabriel Reales. At the end, it was just a matter of time before Terrell caught him with a big shot. We go tremendously grueling rounds these have been. What punishment great is taking Tim. Big round for Jackson here this last 30 seconds particularly. And Drayton is still firing back. Oh, a big he left in. Oh, a tremendous left, left hand. Hook, Tim. Great right on like the button. Free. Let's go back and see it again. A straight, good, solid left hook. Now Jackson is pointing at the canvas. Say, okay, good night. There it is. Look at the fall. And look at Jackson's right hand, Tim. I gave instructions from the dressing room. Do you have any questions? I got a question. You got any excuses tonight, Roy? Let's not ask questions like that. Let's test the gloves and go to work. Tonight, Roy. Let's go to work.
Well, it's interesting. I'm watching Tava. He seems to still be giving Roy problems. Roy has not found a way still to get a sustained attack against him. That is, that is the first time in his career he's really been hurt. He's gone down before one time, but there was a perfect left hand. Roy never saw it coming. Roy is out, and Roy may be out of boxing. And that's why Tarver wanted to be the counterpuncher, because he answered Roy's right hand with a perfect left hand shot that knocked Jones out. There it was. Ready for I'm sure going to be bigger tests to come this year. Yeah, I like the idea. I like the idea of that Walsh Smith fight. That'd be very nice, wouldn't it? Oh, oh what Ooh. about that? What about that? And that sends a message. Finish when it came. Let's watch again. Oh. Start with the right hand. I think the left took the most of the damage. Yeah, the left took, isn't it? Definitely the left took. Three, four shots right on the button. Here we go. But the speed in which he delivers them with. We don't lose any power in those shots. Well, he's Four out. shots, he's right out. on the button. He's out on the first shot. I think he's out on the first shot. And he hits him as, he, as he's on his way down. Yeah, he's out on the first shot, John. The Gumpshire's out of the mouth. All the titch is up now, thank goodness. And now the crowd really can celebrate. A devastating finish from Mitchell Smith. It, it appears that Tyson is virtually a one-eyed fighter at this point. A desperate one-eyed fighter. Rolling willingly just to try to get in the shot that will finish things in. Oh, the uppercut. What an uppercut by Douglas and down goes Tyson. He's he, it's over. It's over. Mike Tyson has been knocked out. Douglas did well. A lot of guys have done, a few guys have done in the past. They've hurt Tyson and didn't take advantage of it. Buster Douglas, inspired by the death of his mother, came on very strong. He had Tyson in trouble a few times, the uppercut. That pretty much was the, uh, the bread and butter for this fight here.